Have you ever felt unsafe on the internet? You pretty much only have two options. Shave your facial hair to where people are scared of you, like I did, or there's Aura. And guys, today's video is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and you were shocked to see your information exposed on the internet? Like your phone number, your address, and other information you just don't want people having on the internet. Are you tired of constantly receiving spam calls? For me, I'm at the point where I can't even answer my phone anymore unless the number's in my contacts. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick and tired of robocalls blowing up my phone. Well guys, all of this is happening is because data brokers are selling your information for a fortune. And today's video sponsor, Aura, can help you with that. Aura identifies these data brokers who are exposing your information and automatically opts you out. You see, brokers are legally required to remove your information if you ask them to, but they make it really difficult to make that happen. So let Aura handle it for you. And Aura does so much more than that to protect your family from what you can't see online. And Aura is super easy to set up. You just download one app on your phone, and in that app you get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and so much more. And you get everything at one very affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you and your family safe online. Here's the deal. You can either let people continue to exploit off your private information, or you can go to Aura.com slash Cletus, get a two-week free trial and try out Aura. That link is in the description below. Again, Aura.com slash Cletus. Thanks to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. Check this unit out. Dude. This is a bandito. A bandito? Yeah, it's called El Bandito, right? Ah. Bandito, dude. What's up, Kyle? This is sick. Dude. Yeah, dude. This thing is wow, basically. That's sick. But this is um what, what happens when you build a truck with no rules. That's why we call it El Bandito, because it's an outlaw. <laughs> oh, oh, the outlaw. I like it's, it. uh, is it a Bronco? It's basically our Ultra 4 truck with a Bronco cab. Ooh. Ooh. Doors open. Handbrake? Yeah. Of How's course. the handbrake hey. work on four wheel drive? It just it just works. Wait, so if you pull this and four wheel drive, it'll still lock the rear. Yeah. Kind of wizardness you got going on. They're just magical, dude. It's got a GT500 motor. Oh, nice. Yeah, makes nice. makes it right around a thousand horsepower. Oh, brother. Yeah. Are we gonna rip this thing. I mean, I'm gonna drive it. That's what I'm here to do. Yeah, but <laughs> He's I'm like, I don't know how you drive it. I don't know. <laughs> See, you did it at first. Let's just let's start there. Uh, I can tell you right now, I've been in there. Let me pull I can make it work. Forty twos. He didn't even know. He didn't even know that <laughs> we had this here, and he's like, "Oh man, I gotta mad. drive this. I gotta I drive saw it." This at SEMA, like the pictures and videos, and I was like, "Oh, that's sick." When we pulled up, I'm like, "Oh, fire me up." <laughs> Uh, doesn't fit. Right, no, so not gonna does. work. Anyways. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Woo! Oh, a holly. It's got a holly in it. Oh my God. God. Oh. Look at all the rubber in the radiator. Oh, yeah, these things have been here since SEMA. Yeah, this is sick, dude. Yeah, Lauren ripped this thing all SEMA. I it's saw so that. Fun. He was ripping it. Yeah, it's unreal, and it's not. It'll. It's built for jumping on road, off road, all the things. Is it carbon or is that fiberglass? Uh, this is the factory top. Oh, it has a factory yeah, Bronco top. Yeah, it has a factory <laughs> Bronco top. Wow. Factory Bronco uh, two-door shell. We actually saved this from the pressure. Oh, really? So this was one of the first units ever hand-built, oh, and then we turned yeah, it into this exactly. over the last three years. What'd you say? It looks expensive. It definitely is. <laughs> Put on all toys. One more time. <laughs> you better not yeah, roll it. it won't roll. <laughs> Oh, at first you won't roll it. Now yeah, you, you better are. not roll it. Well, as long as you stay on the throttle, 42s. All-wheel drive burnouts with 42-inch nittos. Just I mean, that ain't no joke. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to fire it up. Well, we got to test everything right now. Oh, we is this where we're going? Oh, perfect. We have uh, one hour to become professionals. Yeah, so basically we're at this thing for nitto tire. And Vaughn was like, hey, you want to come drive some cool stuff? I said, absolutely. Didn't know the El Bandito is here, so that's a bonus. But we're going to rip some RTR Mustangs today. Yeah, Vortex supercharged, Coyote cars, with all the angle RTR setups, and we're gonna be out here on this track. Banked oval. Is this, Hi, a, is this, this a roval, range. dude? We got a little roval. You think you can drift in one of those? In the RTR Mustang? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find out. Is there a jump for it out here? No, we, we almost brought the jump, but we just built it before SEMA. We didn't get to do jump testing, and I didn't yeah. want to be doing jump testing here live for- With people. 
uh, new well, and discount some, tire. I get some plywood. And some we can make a jump. Tires, we can build a little something. Right over that little <laughs> this is great. Yeah. So is we awesome. got really nice weather, and we're gonna be ripping all day. Wow. All right, dude. Well, wow, this is easy. They know you're a Ford guy now, so we're allowed to do all this cool stuff. Yeah. Dude, the door is just a regular Bronco door. Turbo 4 Honey. This thing is photogenic. Yeah, we call Bond in our company of pictures, but now he's down here, so that means we can kind of mess around, right? As long as he's present. You know they came to put on a show when they have this many tires. That's a lot of freaking nittos right there, dude. That's what we're driving right here. Oh yeah, Getting dude. Getting her shined up. Look at that, dude. That's set up for some room. Dude, how is this one compared to your old RTR car? Pretty similar? It's probably pretty similar, but this isn't set up for competition, so it's way easier to drift. The oh, other okay. Set up like crazy aggressive. This is a breeze. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh dang, it's got the big whipple on it. Damn, this thing's gnarly under here. Train cooler or something dude, up here. Holy crap, look at the sway arms. bar. Yeah, dude, that's uh set up to run into stuff. Look at the size of the hunter. That is crazy. <laughs> getting suited up, yeah, getting bud? Suited and booted, gonna go, you know, make sure I still know how to drift. Yeah, it's been a while. It has been a while. What's the word? I mean you're in a Ford, so basically Yeah, I'm a Ford guy, you know. So. <laughs> it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, dang, you're really a Ford guy. It should be good. Born in a Crown Vic, racing a Mustang. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I was <laughs> born in a Crown Vic. <laughs> like a little kid in his first Mustang, he dude. The steering wheels off. I said, don't worry. All my cars are off. <laughs> this is just a Nitto playground right now. This is awesome. All right, here we go, spectator drags.
Wow, really, dude? Put her in there hard. Slung the belt? We went flying into the turn, <laughs> basically reverse entry. Went, I just did a bah! And uh, there she went. <laughs> Look at the belt in the air filter. Hey, you know what happened, yeah. George? You looked at it. You watched, Hey, you rode in it, and then look. <laughs> Very next ride, the belt Yeah, George rides in it. Look belt at the air filter. Up. Full of belt. Well, what do you know? When you touch anything, the belt blows. <laughs> okay, you can ride on a cruise ship, the belt will blow off. Yeah, yeah. Here you go, here's a souvenir. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> what do you think, oh, dude? Oh, dude, just warming up. Oh, oh dude! Unrestricted <laughs> time. I don't think you know yeah. I want to show you this because this is just crazy. All right. Oh, yeah. We'll this video, we're, we're in Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. This video, eight years ago. When I worked for 1320 video, I went to SEMA and shot a four minute video with Vaughn Gittin Jr. That's oh Vaughn. <laughs> Look at my GoPro angles, dude, just fire. <laughs> so I'm riding with Ryan Turk and I even got an interview with you. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, this is me interviewing Vaughn. Putting smiles on faces and slaying some Nitto tires. Uh, actually, Throw you guys in the passenger seat. Yeah, so this is a whole video I made eight years ago riding. Wow, riding dang, dude. Here we are now. I don't know how it happened, but now we're driving for a while. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, I remember holding the camera and I'm like, I waited for a while. I was like, I got a for an interview, dude. And, uh, so I got a four minute video. I, I thought it was like fire. You know, I spent all week editing it. <laughs> I'm saying to my boss, I'm like, dude, I'm blowing the piss. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, thanks for all you've done. Hey, here we are. Thank you, brother. I love you, man. Great. My boy. You. So this is SEMA 2014. Yeah. So that car. This is the gray one? Or the, the, one, one? the gray one that you were like, that you're filming and you thought was so cool was the one you're actually driving. This is the first. <laughs> yeah, this is the first. This is the first S550 we built. We built this one in Maryland. This was a prototype because my race shop was so busy building the competition cars in Charlotte. We built this that? at MA Motorsports. So this bad girl's been going since 2014. Dude, since oh. 2014. There she is. That's her, dude? That's it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you now, car. dude. Easy car, I did the Nürburgring in. I've done so much in this car. Right. Well, actually, be nine, it'd be nine nine years ago. So SEMA nine years ago. Wow. I, I met Vaughn. I mean, we didn't really meet. It was more like I was a media guy, and I was like, hey, can I ask you some questions? And that was that. And how did it evolve from there? Where did we then? Where did we go Then we that? didn't talk oh, for Holly we Fort never, Fest. Yeah, six or seven years later, Holly Fort Fest, I brought a neighbor out, and I was like, hey, do you mind driving my Crown Vic? And you're like, I'll drive it. I mean, yeah. we became friends. We became when the Here vibe's there, the vibe's there, you know? Yeah, the vibe is there. <laughs> that's the same car, dude. What the that's hell are the odds of that? And you're driving it. I know, that's pretty awesome. That's the universe weird, is a wild dude. place, that's boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this is all possible. Hey, like, yeah, a couple of shots. All right, brother. Yeah, we're doing right Think about this. Nine years ago, this was you. You I might change one of their, their lives. Car, so I, yeah, that yeah. might be some of the case right here, there dude. You go, dude. One so of you got to might find me in nine years and be like, bro. <laughs> yes, sir, dude. <laughs> <laughs> El Bandito to you. El Bandito. <laughs> sure about this? It's well, time, dude. I'm right. You're not even gonna give me a choice, dude. You said, if I don't I let you drive this, we're gonna have big problems. So I'm yeah. gonna let you drive it. Yeah. Look, Vaughn already killed these tires. Yep, we got we beat that. Beat them up pretty bad, so it wasn't me. All right, just saying. Okay. All wheel drive. I fully trust you. That's good. I'm gonna trust you. That's good. You're, you're responsible, guys. Right. So, a couple friend. things. A couple things. It's not gonna flip. Okay. But when you when you roll in and you lift, it does pick up a bit. So like, I mean, if you if Don't you were to, if you it. were to, if you were to flick it hard and lift off throttle and like you could maybe flip it. 
But my point is, when you feel that weight start to lift, just pick up the throttle and the ass end just rotates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't want that. Infield is mainly going to be first gear. Just remember, don't counter steer. Don't counter steer. Okay. After, well, when after you, when driving you go a drift car your muscle, for... <laughs> yeah, you have to calibrate your brain. Okay. You'll counter steer on the flick, but immediately you turn in. Wherever the front okay. wheels are pointing is where you go. All right. That's the, that's the, that's the one brain calibration that you gotta you gotta switch because every time I go to flick it in I'm like big and I'm like and the front end just goes like this and I'm like no no we need to go that Stays way back out. yeah well it just, it just so cool it is cool it's it's one of our coolest builds ever does the world know that you guys build the unicorn yeah I mean yeah the world knows I mean Ken was I mean it has an RTR badge on it yeah yeah it's the name of that car is the Ford Mustang unicorn RTR yeah, you guys Ken have built was, some really Ken cool was stuff. very proud of it yeah this is an incredible build as well we have good ideas, we got a good team, we work with good people. Yeah, you got some decent ideas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna hurt it. Before I get tired. Let me turn the switch to my time, give them 10 <laughs> seconds turn it less. Down. Yeah. What the? Nothing. Okay, press ignition. Oh man. Ignition. Ignition. Fuel. Starter. Cyclones, here we come. <laughs> yeah, so if you wanna, if you wanna do, the, do the burial, just toss it in, get the ass end rotated, just turn in and just stand on it. Oh! oh I'm gonna go up there on the hill. Wait, don't wait till the last to do it because you can do it. Thanks, brother. Will do. so much power. Yeah, it does everything you want, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was 190 when I shut it off. I mean, this thing's sick. It is nasty. With the first couple of you did, you weren't floored though, were you? I no, feel like you were not floored. I was floored. just like taking it easy, trying yeah. to feel it out. And then the last time I was The just last like, one you were ah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't weighed it, but it's probably right around 5,000 pounds. Dude, it handles like a 3,500 pound race car. Well, it's <laughs> super low right now for this. And because oh, yeah. we had that SEMA, like you can, if you look at the front end, you can see like, the A arms are up this way, yeah. so it's super low, but it has serious response for such a big rolly machine. I want to see it fly. I was in the right place at the right time. No more
can't believe how easy it just did that. Right? That was insane. Dude, that was freaking sick. We just did like high speed cyclones. Thank you for letting me drive it. You're welcome, brother. Appreciate you. You notice how it still has a factory door? Sorry to advance, Lauren, oh, no, when you nice. see this. Sorry to advance, Oh, yeah, thank Lauren. You, Your truck's awesome, by the way, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, had a great time. Oh, uh, you're driving with Vaughn, but we're back to Florida because we got freaking lame holes in a couple days. Came out here to do this and uh, made it happen with Nitto. Got to drive El Bandito, which was sweet. But back to Florida.